GIMP is a powerful image editor and creator right out of the box, but this video will show you how to add even more features to this already awesome free tool. Now after you've downloaded and installed GIMP, go ahead and open up your program. Come on up here to Edit, go to Preferences, go to Folders, scroll down a bit and then click on Scripts. And this will give you the paths available to where you can install additional scripts or plugins. Usually the first one will have a name in there. That's the name that you're currently logged into your computer on. So if you have multiple users to your computer and you only want to install this script or scripts into your accessibility, then use the first path. Otherwise, if you're the only one on your computer, then just choose this one here. Or if you don't mind allowing others to have access to those scripts, that also use your computer, then use this one here. But this tells you where to install the scripts that we're going to be downloading here in just a second. So go ahead and get out of here. Let's go get us some scripts. Head on back over to GIMP.org and over here in the far right, click on Plugin Registry. And I would say bookmark this page for future reference because there's a ton of stuff in here in addition to the add-ons or these scripts that we're going to be getting here right now. Right over here is so we're going to search for the script. Now the one I'm going to go ahead and install is called layer effects. So just type in here what you're looking for and in this case it's going to be layer effects. Click on search and this is the one I'm looking for right here. Just left click on that and the one I'm looking for here is the .scm. That's this first one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just right click and then left click on save link as. Navigate to the location on the computer where you want to save this particular file and you can see it's not a very big file so it won't take long at all to download and I've already done that, so grab that file. I'm going to copy that. Then we're going to head over to where we need to place that. Let's just come on back here to Windows. Just kind of show you how I got there. Click on Users, the name of the account that I'm logged in as, the .gimp dash, and then the version that I'm using at this point, it's 2.8, and then going to Scripts. And then I'm going to paste that file in here. That's how easy it is. Come on back to our GIMP installation. Come on up here to Filters, come on down to Script Foo, come over here and Refresh Scripts. Now before I do that, I want to point out that it's going to pop up another option up here in the menu section right in here. Come on down here, Refresh Scripts, and there we go. Click on this, and from now on, any time that we add more scripts or plugins to that particular directory, they're going to be accessible right here. So let's go ahead and test this. Come on up here to File. Go to New, and this is fine right here. Click on OK, and then we go over to our text tool, make some adjustments down here as you see fit. I'm going to change the color of the text to blue, because I want to add a drop shadow, and I think that'll make the drop shadow stand out pretty good. Drag our area here, add the text, select that text, come on up here to Script Foo, Layer Effects, Drop Shadow, by default, this is fine, but you can make some adjustments on the offset distance and the size of the spread, even the opacity if you want to make it a little more darker or lighter. But this is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And there you go. Now you were able to do these same types of effects on older versions of GIMP, but there are multiple steps, and now you're click, click, done. And this is how you can add more functionality to your GIMP program by way of add-on scripts. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.